Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, just giving you a quick missionary update. And this past week, we had a total of 125 salvations between our ministries. And uh, just to quickly give you the sermons preached, on Wednesday, Brother Rafi preached for us. It's a uh, Tagalog sermon. He gave um, kind of pictures of the Tower of Babel in the book of Genesis. And um, I preached on uh, the on the false philosophy series on following your heart and I showed how the Bible teaches us to follow our head not our heart and how our feelings actually follow our actions or our works or what we choose to do and so you can actually change the direction of your heart and then I also preached on dealing with uh, reconciliation in the church if there's ever church problems we're kind of in between series now because I just finished the book of Romans the week before so there's just a lot of intermediate sermons I wanted to preach so we talk about reconciliation in the church body and so those are quickly the recap of salvations and sermons but there are a lot of updates I wanted to give you so we just got internet installed at our church building so if you watch the live stream on uh, Sunday then you probably noticed um, an increased quality both in the video and the audio and so I watched the replay and the audio and the video seemed great for it. So we're expecting things to be a lot better moving forward. And so it took us a little while to figure out which internet to use um, to make sure that we'd find a provider that would have quality internet. And um, you know, some of them were gonna be pretty expensive so we had to kind of be wise about that. But we found something that really worked and we might have updates in the future but that, that should greatly increase our quality. So I know um, some people might not always watch our live stream because it isn't quite at the quality in terms of the video, sound and audio compared to um, you know some other churches, but that should greatly increase it. So hopefully uh, you can give me some feedback if you got a chance to watch it. And um, it did seem a lot better than before. And it seems like it fixed you know 90 plus percent of our problems with that. And so the other updates are this. Um, so we're, we're about ready to head into our new building in Pampanga. And so I think it was at the beginning of the month we found the new building. And uh, we basically combined two rooms together. And so we cut down. We divided the middle wall partition between them, so to speak. And so there's been construction going on the last couple of weeks. We still have a little bit of construction this week. But we're expecting everything to be ready to have services this Saturday in Anjale City instead of Mabalakat. And so what we'll have is um, we, we have to have the, the chairs are going to be delivered on Friday, the day before church. And the air cone is going to be delivered uh, later today. Um, and we've got the other stuff. We might make some small updates, but we're, we've got it pretty ready. And um, we're excited about that. So if you're watching um, and you live in Pampanga or you have family maybe that's in Pampanga that wasn't able to come before, maybe this will be a, a more convenient location. So we're excited for that. It's going to be uh, this Saturday. You know, we're going to kind of have the grand opening for the new building. And so um, probably in June, we'll start our midweek service. Um, I don't know the exact date of starting the midweek service. Um, I want to make sure it's going to be convenient for our church members. But we're probably going to be doing it on Tuesday because our uh, service is on Wednesday in Manila. So I don't want that to be the same day. And if we have to make any changes in the future, we'll look at that. But um, since the services are on Saturday, if we had it on Thursday, there's just a two-day gap. Whereas with Tuesday, there's a three-day gap. So that's what we're going to try for now. But as I said, we might make adjustments. And so we're excited about that. And uh, things are going uh, really well. We had a, a great attendance in Pampanga this past week. I think it was a record attendance as opposed um, not counting our grand opening and our anniversary week but we are going to be changing locations so hopefully everyone's still going to be able to come and i think it could help increase our attendance actually and there's a park that's nearby that's really good for soul winning so we're excited to, to see what the results are going to be we think we're going to have increased salvation numbers and um, the other thing is we are entering rainy season it's actually just started raining a few days this past week it's been a while since it was raining so um Hopefully, just pray for our ministry that we won't get shut out of soul winning due to rain. But realistically, there are going to be some days where it just pours. And when it rains here in the Philippines, it rains, meaning uh, pretty much no option for soul winning when it's really coming down hard. But it seemed like last year God really blessed us with the timing of the rain. It, oftentimes, we were able to just barely finish our soul winning, and then it started pouring. So, um, you know, God did bless us in that way, but uh, many of us, when we were driving home, there's a lot of rain, and so, um, you know, we'll, we'll have to see with soul winning. It could definitely hinder our results, but 
Um, it is what it is. We've had the great spell of uh, dry weather and great soul winning, but obviously we're still going to be doing the work, so just pray for us that uh, we won't get hindered at all. So overall, things are going really well. Just continue to pray for our ministry. Thank you, and God bless.